Okay, so we were going to start on this, but to get in here properly, and this back section here, and this section here, we need to remove this. And to remove this, we need to remove this. And attached to that is the floor section. So we're gonna start at the floor now. side for now. I'm going to start on this. I'm going to cut across there, take this part out. That was the bottom of the floor. As you can see, this, this is the original floor pan. What we're going to do is we're going to trim around the edge. We're going to use the edges of the floor pan and spot weld round. We may seam weld depending on um, how it goes in. The good thing is, the chassis is in good order, just needs cleaning up. His next job on the agenda is to clean this floor, the, all these floor pan edges up. We can then take this outer sill off, we can take this rear wheel arch and then we can start to get to this in a section with no lighting. The floor pan. We bought it as a Suzuki LJ80, but I don't think it was made for a Suzuki LJ80. And I'll show you the reason why. This is the edge that goes up against the transmission tunnel. But the sill, this bit to here is correct, but the sill actually travels in a straight line there. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna offer it up in the car, we're gonna I'm going to get a bit of a bash as well while it's on the floor because I've got a couple of dents in these are 
these are the only panels that were available. As you can see, the inner sill is absolutely shot. Handbrake needs to come out. I'm stumped by a handbrake.
now we want to get the rest of this quarter off. The inner wheel arch is attached to it, so we do have to go inside and either unstitch or, um, or cut through the wheel arch to detach it from this section. But for now, we're going to cut up here, across there, and we're going to slowly reveal what's underneath so we can not cut through these support bars here. Uh, and all these uh, box sections um, need to be replaced uh, and all this, this is like years worth of mud out of these uh, uh, support beams and let's, we'll do that later then. Some really nasty welding. No, it's so bad. Take this off, take this edge off, uh, and continue to take this um, rear quarter off. Good as well. I think that's going to snap and we don't want it to. So what we're going to do, we're going to get a quick clean with a wire brush and then we're going to get the mini inductor on it. That broke, but at least it's easy off. But it's just a nut and bolt, so let's see if we can get this bound.
okay, so now we're happy where it's going. This edge, just show you. This edge is protruding. Need to mark that off. Guillotine that off. So what we've done here is, we've cleaned the chassis off, we've treated it with a rust neutraliser, um, a clear, uh, and that'll just stop the, that rust dead in its tracks. And from there, we're just gonna paint it with Hammerite. Good tip is once you've welded something, um, look around it, feel it, make sure it goes cold, make sure there's nothing underneath that's uh, set like to, because this is set like well, four different places now. Um, the place is filled with smoke, but uh, as long as you check around it, or else you'll end up burning your garage down. And don't leave it until you're happy with it. Everything's cold, and nothing's ignited. There we go, the, um, uh, the welding's done on the floor pan for now. Uh, we've yet to do that back part. That part there, but the rest of it is all welded in. <laughs> we have a floor pan. Right, that's it for this video guys. Be sure to check out the next part in this series where we're replacing the sill, this rear quarter section and this corner. Thank you very much for your support so far. It is much appreciated, all the likes and the comments on the videos, so we do much appreciate that. YouTube algorithm does like that sort of stuff, so keep up the good work. 
Make sure you get us on Instagram at Yorkshire Car Restoration and we will catch you in the next one. We're getting better at this. You see, I just reeled it off.